Uh, good afternoon. I did a video the other day on how to use skates. It went pretty good, but it came off too easy. They don't ever come off that easy, so I wanted to use something bigger. So I'm going to use my big orange truck that you guys have seen many a times. And hopefully it'll show you the proper way to do this. What we're doing today, I'm going to show you a proper way to use these. These are what we call skates. Put these underneath the tires and help the car slide up and down on the bed. A whole lot easier than dragging them and tearing up the car. I'm not going to tie the cars down. I'm not going to strap them. I'm just going to show you how to do this. Here we go. Because the video I showed you yet the other day, that truck slid all the way off the truck. They never do that. Probably one, probably one out of 50 comes completely off the bed. vehicles on the truck is the easiest part of it. It really is. Just take these skates, just put them in the middle of the tire, give them a good tap in. Same way on the other side, give them a good tap in. what I wanted it to do to show you that not everything goes like it should. When they do, they just stop. See on my truck, I got these big meat tires on here so they have a tendency of kicking them out. Just put them back underneath of it. Ain't no big deal. And the reason why you stop that for is because you know, it makes the customers happy that you're not dragging their cars. So you bring it up on the truck, and then if you just let release the cable just a little bit. Okay, see, nothing ever goes like it's supposed to. Now take these here, and all you do is turn them around, put them back underneath the tire. Then you come back around here, do it on the other side. And it should slide right off the truck. And that's as far as you're going to get to come off. Now you got to make the rest of it come off. This is where it gets fun. There's a couple different ways you can do this. 
is you can keep jerking the bed back and forth to make it come off. It's really hard on your equipment to do it. And people see you doing that and they get to looking at you really stupid. So the way I do it, I know it's not going to go anywhere. It's stuck. You saw it come to a complete stop. It's not going nowhere. So I just unhook the truck. technique called driving from underneath the truck. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my bed's back all the way. And now I'm just going to pull the bed forward just a little bit. And I'm going to lift the bed to where my feet down here on the ground. These here are what we call the feet. This right here. Where it comes up off the ground just a little bit. I'm going to hop back in my truck. What you want to do is try to get your tires back here around in this area on the bed. And the reason why we do that for chain up. Now I'm gonna lift the bed up here. successfully skate a truck on the truck and skate it off and I can do that with front wheel drive I can do that with all wheel drive because people out here driving these all wheel drive cars I got two more skates in that toolbox up here all I gotta do is put them underneath the other tires exact same thing so easy thank you like and subscribe